Do you think Georgia has taken over Alabama as the national powerhouse program? The? You say the? The. T-H-E? For, uh, to massive fans, yes. If you are watching college football and you follow rankings and you follow conferences, and you yes. If you are a medium fan, no, not yet. Alabama is too many years in. And too many famous coaches. And too much history. They got Bear Bryant and Gene Stallings and Nick Saban. They got statues galore outside of the of the complex there of all the national championships. Georgia has Mark Richt, who didn't win one. They have Vince Dooley, who won one. Rest in peace. And then they have Kirby Smart. So, yes, right now to us, Georgia. To my stepdad, who likes college football but doesn't isn't as tuned in as much, and he's 65, Alabama. It's still Alabama. So, depending who you talk to, but yeah, to current day folks who watch it, absolutely it is Georgia. But to most of America, no, Alabama is still the brand, the name. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. All right, what else? Which team currently outside the top four will replace Michigan or Ohio State? The easy answer is Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And if when you look at the, the the rankings, if you don't think they put Ohio State and Michigan in there together on purpose, yeah, you're crazy. Because yeah. what's gonna happen is one of them have to lose and fall out. So you're looking at Tennessee and Oregon, maybe five and six. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, from memory, Georgia, the two Big Ten teams we're talking about there, mm-hmm. Ohio State, Michigan, uh, TCU, TCU at four, Tennessee, and then Oregon. Is that order correct? So yes. easy it's Tennessee because SEC, they lost to the one team that's number one. Everything says Tennessee. Tennessee, I if because I uh, memory, South Carolina? Yes. I And who they're, Missouri? Who they're playing next? Missouri this weekend. South Carolina, Vanderbilt. I believe, next week, and then Vanderbilt to, to end it, yeah. Here's all I'm going to say. They're going to they're going get pushed by one of those South Carolina or Missouri teams. Yes. Missouri is playing better. They're not yeah. winning a lot of games, but they're playing better. That game they played against Georgia that they didn't win, but they, I think they, they drew something from that. Yeah. Uh, South Carolina, they're a scrappy bunch, too, mm-hmm. who can – I'm not going to say sneak up because they've won some games – but who can surprise you and actually play you pretty tough. They also will lose a game, too. But I, th- I think if Tennessee takes care of business, boom, 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 beats all three of those teams, but wraps it up, they, they tie the steer up, boom, put their hand in the air. If it's that easy, it's them, no doubt about it. Is that a yeah. team roping reference? It's just a cap roping nice, reference. I like yeah. it. I like it. Uh, but I don't really know enough about it, so I said, I don't know, put their hand in the air. Yeah, that's what they do. They wrap around picture, the, the hooves and then head. done. Yeah. If Tennessee can do that with South Carolina – with Vanderbilt and with Missouri, they're in because they don't have to play in the SC championship game. See, they kind of lucked out last week, huh? Oh yeah, by losing, I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I mean. I said that. Here's the only problem where it gets dicey for them is if, let's say, Alabama or Ole Miss or LSU, whomever gets in from the West, if they happen to beat Georgia, mm-hmm. it's that sucks yeah. for Tennessee totally because the winner of the SEC will go. Georgia will go. Mm-hmm. They're not going to put three of the four teams from the SEC. No. So Tennessee just has to sit back, win their games, and just wait. They don't have to root for anybody at this point. They don't have to root for or against anybody. I guess they could root against Georgia, but Georgia even tied. Georgia has to lose two games. Yeah. Because even tied, Georgia wins because they beat them heads up. Yeah. So they just need to sit back, wait for the championship game, and hope that the East beats the West because then they're in. Mm-hmm. Statistically, it's on their side for sure. If, uh, if everything happens according to normal progression of what we think happens in the SEC, Tennessee's in. I still think if Alabama goes, they beat them. If Alabama's if in it. If they play Georgia again, you're saying? If Alabama's in it, I think they win it. I think they win that championship game. Oh, wow. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Last few weeks here. And a lot of that, too, is just what I've seen Alabama do over and over again. Yeah. They have a quarterback. They have a better quarterback. Although Stetson Bennett is good. But I think Alabama can beat Georgia. I think Alabama can beat Georgia I think Alabama can beat Tennessee. I heard a Tennessee they lost, but when they played, but I heard a Tennessee fan. We were we were playing with one. Eddie and I were playing golf with one, and he was like, "You know, if we were playing on a neutral field, we'd have beat Georgia." I didn't say this, but I thought, well, if Alabama would have played you on a neutral field, they'd have yeah, beat you totally. So you can't use that because no. if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, if the queen had balls, she'd be king. You can't <laughs> use that. That's different. Who yeah. says that? <laughs> so. That, that's who it is. If Oregon is starting to be sexy. Yes. Bo Nix. But they, I mean, they have some a tough schedule here, too. Which tough helps schedule. them. True. If they happen to win the rest of their games. 
I think there's got to be a little something happen for them to, to make that jump from six to four. TCU is going to lose. I'm going to tell you right now, TCU's probably going to lose to Texas. Are you going to okay. ask about that? Yeah, that was my next question. So go. Go, go ahead. All right. Do you think TCU's undefeated season comes to an end this weekend hmm. against Texas? The fact that I even have to think about it. Are they in Texas? Troublesome. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Are they in? Are they in Are Austin? They are they playing? In, <laughs> no, stop it! Are they playing in Austin? I was like, what do you think the T and TCU stands for? <laughs> what are they? The horny toads? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The okay. horny toads. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Yosemite Sam? Come on. <laughs> what are they? Horn frogs? Horn toads. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Texas can give them a run. I don't oh, yeah. think I don't think TCU is as legit as the group they're being gathered within. I think they're good. I think they're a top 12 or 13 team, but in the end, they are undefeated, and they are playing in one of the big conferences, and you have to respect that period. Don't care about anything else because if Clemson was still undefeated, they would be there too. Yeah. you got to respect they're in the Big 12 or you're in the Big 10 or you're in the SEC, you're in the ACC, eh, but you do. You still have to respect it. The Pac-12. The weird thing, too, is all these schools have numbers of teams in them. None of those numbers are right anymore. I know. What you call them? The pack? Yeah. You're in the pack? The big. That's in the so big. true. Yeah. Yeah. The big with a capital G. So that's that's what I think. And I uh, I think that Texas gives them a run. Boy, yours at times has been so dynamic and the guy. And he's had a couple real – he laid an egg a couple weeks ago, too. Mm-hmm. So I, I think Texas has a really good shot. I don't want to say I think they'll win for sure, but I think they have a better shot than they should. I think Texas is 23. I'm going uh, uh, 23 or 24. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Have you seen a line on that game? Uh, I think Texas was two and a half minus two and a half Texas. Mm-hmm. Texas is favorite. Yes. Yep. That tells you everything. What does that wow. tell you? Everything, Eddie. I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't know what everything means. About everything. Space. Wait, time. <laughs> hey, this <laughs> this has got, sorry, this has got Texas at minus seven. According what? to the, the line this morning, ESPN. That can't be There's true. No There's that's, no way. That's that what could be that's the opening on line. ESPN. Yeah, on ESPN this morning. I'm not. I'm not arguing with saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I'm not saying that you are wrong. I'm saying you're wrong. Let me look here. <laughs> Weird thing is, I know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> yeah, I. They can't be right. No. If so, what's happening here? They. Okay, here we go. Hey, I'm going to my DraftKings app. I'm logging in in my DraftKings app. <laughs> you don't have to log in to check the line. I know, but I like it's to log It's at seven, in. boys. Wow, Adam, you're right. But, oh, man, man. you're so wrong. <laughs> I always knew you were right, Adam. Thanks. Thanks, Adam. What man. money did I win? What, you want to bet <laughs> you didn't even know? That's the best. That's like finding money in your pocket. I hit. Okay. It must have been a futures. Here's what I did. I had a bad. I told you I had a bad week last week. Mm-hmm. Um, I had some good money in my account. I took it all out. I put it back. I'd never done that before. So I came out a, I came out a winner. A couple, couple thousand dollar winner from... Over a year ago. So oh, yeah, Put yeah. in 200 bucks, one, whatever. I'm starting from scratch. So a part of that, though, when I took it out, I had made a couple bets that were still existing. So when I took it out, I had a couple bets in there, but it was a zero. Well, I looked in, and I got a couple hundred bucks in here, and I hit, unbeknownst to me, I bet Derrick Henry to score two or more touchdowns and Derrick Henry over 105 rushing yards last week. I put 20 bucks on it, just throwing it at it. One hundred and seventy dollars in that Woo! one, and you forgot about that. That's cool. Well, I just thought it was a Z. I just knew yeah. I was at zero. I was gonna put some money in this week and start over. Huh? Look at me, just finding smiles everywhere. Yeah, seriously. How about that? That's how I, I just should close my eyes and push buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Better than last week, probably. All right, next question. Going to the NFL with Frank Reich out in Indy. Who do you think is next to get let go? Well, ooh, that's a good one because I've often stood up for Cliff and. Oh, oh, Kingsbury in Arizona. Because that team has gotten better every year, record-wise. Every year. They've never taken a step back. They haven't won in the playoffs. As far as, I mean, last year it was embarrassing. Like, Kyler played terrible. The day was a bad, bad deal. Yeah. I mean, Cliff is uh, probably, I never, uh, probably the next favorite to go. But even then, you have Hopkins out for a lot of the year. Now that Hopkins is back, they're a different team offensively. But they, they are still losing. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't understand. What's, I, Me neither. I, so probably Cliff in Arizona. D- does anybody like Lovey in Texas I- with the Texans? Oh man! No. Every time they show Lovey, he just looks lost. Do you think Josh McDaniels gets fired? Yeah, I, that's another good one. I, I hear Carr yeah. talking like, yeah. I mean, he's not. Something's happening there in that organization. Because even Derek Carr's like, you guys have no idea what's happening here, and he's not addressing it fully. 
He's being very vague about mm. it. I'd probably go, still, I'd go Cliff Kingsbury if I had to go somebody. Guys, I think LaFleur is. What? I, I don't know. There, there's something. Well, first. One season? One season. Hold yeah. it. Hold yeah. it. Hold it. Guys, I don't think he has control of that team. I don't think he has control of Aaron Rodgers. Correct, yeah. which is the team. But like, who does? Yeah. When you when they show but your head about, coach. But Aaron Rodgers doesn't have any receivers. When they show your head coach and he's more worried about what the crowd is doing, like, let's go, guys, get louder here, and not focusing on calling plays, to me, it's like, this is not good. Packers are not good this year. I agree. Uh, I don't think he has control of that team, which I think is really bad. I think they're going to look into letting him go. That's my hot, hot take. That's Ow, 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 ow. Uh, careful, ow, careful. Ow, it's hot. Ow, 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 it's hot. So, ow. I can't even look at you. It's like looking at the sun. You didn't even got to touch the sun to burn. I mean, you just look at it. Careful now. Yeah, there's no chance. Okay. No. All right. No. Okay. Remember that. Hey, Mike, save the tape. All right. Okay, All right. play the. Uh, here's another. We have this tape from three months ago because mm -hmm. you always talk about me, you know, predicting stuff. Mike, push play over there. Okay. One day this season, Eddie's going to predict that LaFleur is going to be gone in Green Bay. It's going to be the stupidest take I've heard. <laughs> Because there's no chance. Yeah, I mean, look, Aaron Rodgers, he's going to have an okay season, I think. I, you know, he, should, he probably should have retired. But Eddie's going to think LaFleur is going to get uh, cut this year. And when he, when he does, we're probably going to have to secret fire him after the show. <laughs> All right, good. There we go. That was a, that was a take. Right, save that one, too. Yeah. No, Dang. no, that was from three months ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we time travel and do alternate wow. versions a lot. Yeah, it's a multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Cliff Kingsbury. Next coach to be fired, Eddie, is Matt LaFleur in your Matt mind? Matt LaFleur for sure, dude. You sure you don't want to go Belichick? I mean, no. If you're gonna go hot, go Are hot. you comparing hey, the two? If you're going to go hot, go hot, buddy. Stop it. I have the odds here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Whoa. Go ahead. Number one is Kingsbury. What, what, what do they have him at? Plus 225. Okay. Lovey Smith, plus 350. Yeah, Man. Poor Lovey. McDaniels, plus 500. Okay, and well, those odds say McDaniels probably not going to get. Yeah. Five. Yeah. But I don't know who makes these odds. Go ahead. And then the Browns coach plus seven fifty. I don't know. I feel like Cleveland, especially with their situation, yeah, I feel like they've done all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Given right. what they're dealing with. Keep going, Mike. Where's the floor? Uh, he's not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Uh, go ahead. Next question. Do you think the Seahawks are just a fun story or a legit contender? Man, I is there somewhere in between? Because I I feel like they could, if they really perform at their highest level could win a playoff game. Yeah. That, that's that's that, fair. That's their ceiling to me. Win a playoff game. One. That's fair. Yeah. A wild card game or something. Yeah. I feel like they can win they can win a playoff game. But they gotta really play well. I don't think they're they are a fun story because why do Chino? I Yeah. It's awesome, dude. Like a semi journeyman. Mm -hmm. They wrote him off and nobody wrote back. Or what did he say? Yeah. yeah. They wrote him off and he didn't write back. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Eddie. Like, that was like week one, wasn't it? <laughs> the interview right after the game? Yes. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm just some, you know, a little middle action there. I like to see them win. That's fun because watching Russell Wilson suck is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And watching Seattle win. <laughs> you are haters, dude. I well, love it. Well, it's not even that. <laughs> yes, you All are. those Seattle guys are haters of him, too. Yeah. Even yeah. Pete Carroll, we'll talk about that in a second. They're taking J He must be so disliked. And it's all coming, coming out now because he's losing. Mm hmm but he must be so disliked by where he was and even kind of where he is. Yeah. So ceiling for the, the, the Seahawks is to win a playoff game. Um, the, the floor just miss and, and happen to lose. Some, I mean, go eight and nine, but I think they're going to do better. Than, I think that's their floor yeah. is to go eight and nine. Cause I don't think they're going to lose a bunch of games cause they're, they're pretty consistent. It's not like they're doing dynamic things. Big, making huge big plays to win games and doing dynamic things occasionally. And wow, that is their, they're just, they're consistent mm -hmm. week to week. Yeah. All right, what else? Uh, are the Vikings the second best team in the NFC behind the Eagles? Don't forget the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, what are y'all oh, talking yeah. about? Thank yeah. you, Bones. Uh, the record is, is nice. But ceiling for the Vikings, win a playoff game. That's it. I think that's very accurate. Okay. And I don't think that's as hard for them to do because they're going to have a better. A better seed, mm -hmm. but I don't think they win two games. I think they can win a playoff game. I think Seattle, that ceiling is win a playoff game. I think the Vikings will win a playoff game. That'd be good for them. If they play the Cowboys right now, you think the Cowboys win easily, Eddie? Not easily, but they'll win the game. Yeah, yep. yeah. I think that that defense could definitely hold the Vikings. Absolutely. This is what's going to happen, though. Mark this down. Save this tape, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of saving, Mike. 
And one of the two things are going to have to happen because we're getting into what they call flex season where they can take these games that are good and move them to more primetime spots. So if – because this is – something's got to budge here. If the Vikings keep winning, they're going to start to flex some of these Vikings games that are good. So if they flex the games, either the primetime – Kirk is going to have to change. Mm-hmm. He has to either win and change that narrative or the Vikings are then going to start losing because he can't perform in primetime, and then they're going to start losing. So something's going to change. Either the Vikings – will because they're going to get flexed if they keep winning. Mm-hmm. Or they're going to lose, or he's not going to be Kirk who sucks in primetime anymore because it can't just stay how it is. So either he'll win some big games or the Vikings will not end up on the same trajectory they are now. But it all won't be the same because they'll take those games and stick them in the later slots Yeah, and give him more of a chance to win those those big games. The cha- big chain, Kirk, dancing on the plane, Kirk. I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. I love it. One more? Last one. Do you think Tua could be a sleeper MVP the second half of the season? No, I think he's fun for everybody to talk about. I don't think he's an MVP. Yet, I guess, is he way asleep? Is he in a coma? Is he a coma MVP? <laughs> guys, is that too soon? I mean, oh, gosh, God. guys. He wasn't in a coma. He almost was he wasn't two times. Coma. And we're also doing <laughs> – it's, it's he said sleeper. Uh-huh. I know. Yeah. Well, two things that were making me nervous well, there. No, It's not actual literal. It's a term that's used. He fell asleep two times on the field. Yeah. I saw that. He didn't fall asleep. <laughs> no. He got, he got put asleep. to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, Deep coma. Gosh. so stupid the thing about the mvp race is a lot of it is gener press generated for sure and so as much as people like tua they like him because a lot of people hated him at first it was a there was a whole is Tua good or is Tua not now it's surprise about miami and they're winning game i still think it's you know josh allen it's patrick mahomes I think that <laughs> there's a lot in front of him. I think, yeah. yeah. Lamar you gotta, Jackson. You gotta Jalen Hurts. You gotta, Jalen, Jalen Hurts. Hurts. You got to pass a lot of cars to get there. Yeah. I did watch that offense last week for the first time. Which one? Man. Tua? The Dolphin. Dolphins. Dolphins, oh, yeah. yeah. Weapons galore. They yeah. Are unbelievable. And you can't fault Tua for having weapons. You can't fault Belichick for having Brady. Right. You can't fault. Look at Joe Montana. He had Jerry Rice. John he Taylor. had Roger John Craig. Roger he Craig. had John Taylor. Yeah. Tom Rathman. The greatest always had other greats around them. Yeah. So I love Tua. I've always been a Tua guy. Love it. But do I think right now he's – I wouldn't bet money on him to win the – even as a flyer. He's got to be seventh, right? It's like seventh or eighth. You yeah. know who's ahead of him, I bet? Par- uh, Parsons. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. think about that. He's got to be in consideration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's amazing. That – he uh, – it's an 11-person side, right? It's always that. But he kept that Dallas defense, and he kept that Dallas Cowboys team in the mix. Yeah, and winning games. And one of those games, he had a flu, yeah. or whatever that he was. He had a flu, whatever that was, <laughs> fever. Just a kind he of he was sick. A cold. It was the flu game. A runny nose. Yeah, yeah. didn't game. phase him. What well, Tua might not win the MVP, but one thing he's winning right now is QBR. He's the he's the number one QBR in the league right now, ahead of Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Geno Smith, and Lamar Jackson. I mean, people talk about that. I don't know what that is though. It, it's like quarterback rating. I don't no, know. I know what it stands for. Yeah. Really? Just, but what does I, it really mean? I don't know really, like what goes into that, except I imagine he throws good. He's he's really passes. he's really efficient, completing a lot of passes, uh, way more touchdowns and interceptions and turnovers. That I could have guessed too. Yeah. I just don't know what goes into it. Yeah, like I know what a batting average is, I know what triple crown is, I know what. But when 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 you get into slugging percentage, yeah. I got to go back and and go. Okay, let me. Okay, so for, if you get on first, that's this many, but second, I got to look back into it. Slugging percentage and QBR are the same thing to me. Hmm. I got to get back in, got to read it again. But mostly I don't because I don't care that much. Yeah. Unless we're doing this and I look like a fool. But we got Adam's (laughs) stats over there to hit us. That's why we have you. That's right. Nailed it. All right. That's the tittle tattle. Thank you.